Ho 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 and welcome to another custom card weekly. I am far, far too late to be doing this gag, but uh, I have an excuse. <laughs> On the holidays, you know, I was off with family, and then as I said in the last video, I soon after caught one of the worst sicknesses I've had in a while. Still sick now, throat still hurts a little bit, but doing the CCW now, because I feel like if I wait any longer, it's just gonna be ridiculous. Like, I can't have a Christmas-themed CCW that's not even in January. That'd be ridiculous. So let's jump into it. Last time on CCW, Custom Card Weekly, I asked you all to design a Christmas-themed Shatterus card. Let's see what you come up with. First of all, shout out to this guy. Five years ahead of his time with that hashtag game. God damn. I'm always late to the party. Why is this image so unsettling? This is kind of creepy, right? Uh, Become Snow, Runecraft 3.0 spell, transform an enemy follower into a snowman, and hands aid transform all followers and amulets into snowmen. This is by Hofer12. It's probably not as good as Petrification, because Petrification has that uh, ability to affect amulets right in its base form, as well as the Banish, which is really cheap on Petrification. You know, this has the upside of having that enhance eight, although it affects your side as well. So if you're going like, but like an attrition-based uh, win con with Prophetess, kind of sad that you might hit your own Prophetess, and um, that's upsetting. I mean, in rotation, transform effects aren't really that needed right now, right? Like, Enko isn't really present. BNB is gone. Like this would have been more welcome back during you know that meta, but hey. Still a pretty nice card, more rotation effects, pretty cool. It's an interesting way to deal with threats that isn't just straight removal. And it's thematic, because it's the holiday season and totally not January already. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm recording at a time where Kakaitis is still relevant. Although given the balanced patch notes that were announced, we probably still will be coming into the next patch anyway. But regardless, fanfare, give both leaders the effect at the start of your turn, add a random apocalypse or Kakaitis card into your hand, so he's given presents out. Evolve, fill your hand with random Apocalypse or Kakaitis cards until your hand is full. Then a random Apocalypse or Kakaitis card in your hand becomes cost zero until the end of your turn. Well, I mean, this effect is all nice and pleasant and cheery and festive. Then this one, it just feels like he's showing blatant favoritism, isn't he? Yeah, card is absolutely god awful, and I hope it never gets printed in real life. <laughs> But I appreciate the thematics. This this isn't even a Shatterus card. This is just a picture from Rage of Bahamut. What's happening to CCW? Oh, would well, you look at this? It's both a submission to CCW Christmas and CCW Altar. Santa Altar Ward. At the end of your turn, perform Necromancy 2, restore one defense to all allied followers. Uh, yeah, I mean, I dig it. I dig it. I like that it's a flip of Dark Blade theme. Uh, but also... The day that Shadowcraft gets healing synergy is when you know everything's g gone gone whack in terms of class identity. Oh god damn it! Same guy too. <laughs> With this garbage meme, you didn't even flip the picture, man. Low effort. Your boy is back with yet another custom card. This one is to spread some holiday cheer. No killing allowed during the holidays. On principle, I agree. I mean, who wouldn't with that statement? But. Six play point restore both leaders to full defense. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. No, that's one way to kill aggro. Like that. I mean, I guess some people would be happy about that. Uh, I've seen a lot of salty, salty people. There's one from Fosty, everybody's favorite old man. Holy Alchemist Cagliostro. After if there's no allied Earth Sigils in play, put two random Earth Sigils from your deck into play. Evolve Earthrite, put an Opus Magna into your hand. Deal 3 damage to an enemy. Hand 6, deal 3 damage to all enemies. <laughs> Hold up! Hold the phone! Well, I mean, I don't know how this has anything to do with the theme, other than the fact that the art is what it is. But the effect is just straight up amazing. Holy smokes. I mean, I'd play that. And Dirt is on the rise, man. People are, people are all up on Mysteria right now, thinking it's the hot, hot dankness. But, but Dirt, man. Dirt is underrated. Instead of putting weeb art with weeb names, I've put a real thing. Yeah, finally! Out of weeb town! Ward fanfare, put Christmas present into both players' hands. Last words, put coal into both players' hands. And evolve, same thing. Last words, put two coal instead. Christmas present, two frequent spell. 
and only put two different rotation spells or amulets from your leader's class into your hand. Okay. Cole, deal one damage to an enemy. And Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. 35.33, fanfare, give an allied Santa Claus the ability to evolve for zero evolution points whenever an allied Santa Claus evolves. Evolve this follower. Storm Drain. Well, that's not so bad, right? It's like a 10 play point combo. And Santa Claus isn't probably going to survive into the next turn. It's pretty okay. It's a 7.55 ward body that gives you value. It gives your opponent stuff, too. What's interesting about the spell is that it really depends on the quality of your class cards in rotation. Especially with your spells and animals. I know I'm kind of just spelling out what the effect is. Right? I understand that that's what I'm doing. But it just makes the... the what I'm trying to say is that the delta of how good this card is, depending on your class, can differ quite a lot. Which makes it... A really hard stony card, let's be real. It's kind of like Alder Plane Arbiter. I don't know why I'm even spending so long talking about this as if it's a real card. It's a, a real live freaking Santa Claus on a Shadowverse card. What am I doing? First time doing this, felt inspired to do the art, but no time to color, with Gelt being kind of a foster father figure. Amelia bought this idea in the spirit of Christmas. You drew this? Yo! That is awesome! What? Santa Gelt. Fanfare choose, put either an Amelia naughty listed or Amelia under the mistletoe into your hand. Hand seven, put both. Okay. Amelia naughty listed. Ah. Freaking got him. No gifts for you. Imagine imagine giving Amelia coal with this smile on your face. <laughs> what a jerk Geld would have to be. At the end of your turn, summon a coal in your opponent's field. If an allied Santa Geld is in play, this follower can't be targeted by enemy spells and effects. I like that. Kind of like protecting your kiddo. Coal. Just a lump of coal. Just <laughs> that's cool. Just taking up space on your opponent's board. That's pretty neat. Really under the mistletoe. Storm. Fanfare. Select an enemy follower. It can't attack next turn. Well, that's, that's actually pretty sick. Oh, man, I like this card a lot. This is cool. I mean, giving Sword more cards just give more cards that flood the board and go storm. That That's Sword's identity, I guess. But I like the theme of this a lot, and the fact that you drew it is, is awesome. Well, more of this, please. If you if you can art, please submit CCW submissions with your art, because that that's awesome. I love seeing this kind of thing. First time making cards, I really enjoy the series. Thank you very much. Holy smokes! This Santa's ripped. He's freaking swole, man. That's some some workout inspo right there. The joy of giving it to your opponent's hand. Restore one defense to all allies. Recover one illusion point. Draw one card. Gain an empty play point orb. The joy of giving it to your opponent's hand. Well, I mean, I like the idea of just swapping back and forth the spirit of Christmas, but the card is probably not going to see play, right? Kind of a low-impact card with an okay body at best that, depending on what deck your opponent's playing, this can be absolutely devastating for you if you give them this. But you have to appreciate the art. This, this guy is freaking ready to go. It looks more like a WWE wrestler than Santa Claus at this point. Do a few more here. Evil Tree by Nobi. 3.12 ward, and only put one Havencraft follower that costs two play points or less from your deck into play. Card is actually really good, right? Like, you play this on turn five, you can pull out um, a Lorena and evolve it. That's kind of awesome. It draws you a card and puts something into play. Card is sick. Uh, I don't really know why the tree is evil. It seems like it's doing a lot of good to me. I freaking love this card. I mean, the card itself is probably way too slow and doesn't do enough, and I don't know why this picture is so small for some reason. But the effect itself, choose one of your leader's effects that has not stackable and change it to is stackable, is so cool, so cool! I mean, I wish this card was cheaper or had ward or something, because at 8.55, not doing anything else on the board, there's no way this sees any sort of play. But the idea of being able to augment your non-stackable leader effects and make them stack is just such a awesome concept. Like, imagine a stack of old Mirabane or De La Fie or anything, really. It's sick. It's just sick. Holy smokes, Agent Gaming. <laughs> what is this? You can see how far the box extends past what it's supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, I like the, the whole idea. It's like the 12 Days of Christmas song. Um, I'll just leave the effect up on the screen, though. 
If you want to read it, you can pause the video. And I guess we'll end on this card, because, you know, this video is all about that Christmas spirit. That, uh, January 14th Christmas spirit. Yep. Thank you guys so much for submitting, I really appreciate it as always. There's a lot more than I covered in this video, so if you want to check it out, that's hashtag CCWXmas. But enough of that, we're at the end of the video, and you know what that means. It's time for next week's theme, which is... Make a Shadowverse card based on your favorite superhero. That's right, because Aquaman just passed a billion dollars at the box office, and who could have seen that one coming? That's it for this video though, like it if you did, don't if you didn't, subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future, and of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons, patreon.com slash if you'd like to support the channel as well, I'd highly appreciate it, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye bye!